When the situation is tough, then the world needs the people, those who come forward and make something new. Having said that, this path is definitely not easy. This requires great confidence, skills, communication skill and able to challenge the status quo. There is no doubt about that. I think when it comes to investment banking, investment bankers are ready and they are launching or in fact launched two different strategies to help the globe and of course they get their fees also. Nowadays, so previously what used to happen that investment bankers used to get the fresh offers. I just take hypothetical examples. Microsoft wanted to raise money fresh IPO initial public offer. ExxonMobil wanted to raise the money fresh. All hypothetical I'm taking. Say Aramco wanted to raise the money fresh. Either it is debt or equity fresh. A very small percentage of that issuances comes which is known as refinance. Refinance means that a maturity is coming and you need to get this refinanced. So let me take an example of one of the leading, not leading, number one real estate player in India which is Macrotech. Loda Group in short. Loda Group supposed to pay around 325 million US dollars on 13th of March, which is approximately 11 days from now. 325 million dollars. And they don't have money. And they being rated triple B minus Y credit rating companies, according to me, they, they should be rated D. Loda Group India along with their UK entity is doing trying everything to raise 225 million fresh bonds or to get this funding refinanced. When I read the magazines and all speak with the bankers and all I got to know that if 10 years before, behind every 10 deal, one or two deals pertaining to refinancing, now the situation is completely reverse. One or two deals covering fresh issuances and around eight to nine deals coming from refinancing. And let me assure you my friends that refinancing requires more fees, of course, common sense and also requires effort. So let me, of course, when the time will pass, we'll have more videos and our OTT platform, we would be, we are planning to launch a course on the investment banking. But if, if fresh issu issuances take four or five days, assuming, then refinance take double of that, which is around eight to nine days. But on theory, in paper, in newspaper, in articles and in, on YouTube, it looks like refinancing is very easy, but it is not. The highest category in the refinancing is known as liquidity management strategies. Liquidity management strategy, strategy, strategies is a topic which is hardly being taught in the books and in fact if you would have searched Google you will hardly get to know anything about it. Now what it, it actually does and how it works. So let's assume take China. Chinese real estate is in big trouble there is no doubt about that. So I would say you keep Chinese real estate and replace it this with India or you replace Indian real estate with Chinese stories same, no doubt about that. They are having a lot of maturities that come on an offer note. So after every one year, two year, one and a half year, there is a maturity come and they need to either pay this or refinance that. Now let me give you a simple example. Suppose there is a real estate company in China and they are having two issuances which are coming. Number one issuance, uh, sorry, two maturities which are coming 
Number one maturity is coming in 2020 June and another is coming 2023 June. So and assuming both are 100 million each and assume that for June 20th maturity and also for June 23rd maturity 2023 that company do not have the money to pay. So they have to get this refinanced simple they left with no option but refinancing is the only option. So what they do, they invite the investment banker and they ask them to arrange a barball maturity. Not bullet, barbull. So raise money for five years. Today is 2020, raise for five years. Small part of what I raise I will pay to honor June 2020 debt, small part I will pay to honor 2023 debt, rest money I utilize. This is one of the most simplistic examples I have given about the liquidity management strategies. Practically speaking, liquidity management strat strategies is of three types. I shortly call this LMS, LMS bullet trade. LMS barbull trade, LMS ladder trade. Bullet trade is easy to price. Barbull trade little tough to price and ladder trade is I have no words. In terms of arrangeability effort by investment banker bullet trade is easiest barbull tough Ladder, very, very, very tough. But if you really wish to be an investment banker and you really wish to run your own investment bank or you really wish to work on this m &A deal, then you should know that how liquidity management strategies actually work. I'm not giving you the complete introduction of the liquidity management strategies because this we will cover in our OTT platform when we launch our video courses. But liquidity management strategies is now in vogue. Vogue means fashion. And more importantly, liquidity management strategies requires extensive mathematical skills. Because I have five maturities in five years. I'll give you one case. Suppose I am a company and I have five maturities in five years 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, say five. And at every maturity, I need to pay different amounts. Sometimes 10 million, 20 million, 10 million, 20 million, different amounts. And currencies are also different. So in 2020, I will pay Canadian dollar. 2021, I will pay Australian dollar. 2022, I will pay US dollar. 23, Great Britain pound. 24, Japanese yen. So five maturities, five different amounts, five different currencies. And I invite my investment banker say Goldman for a minute and ask him that this is the problem statement. You give me one solution statement, raise one money till 2027, which will not only help me the capex for this seven year, but also honor my these commitments and also act as a credit line. If you are able to make that composition for your client, then you are the best investment banker of the globe. And this is what I am always willing that people should know and courses like CFA certified financial analyst should taught, but they don't taught. Open CFA course and just check, are they teaching you the liquidity management strategies? And by the way, the example which I quoted is one of the simplistic example I can quote. Liquidity management strategies can be more complex and it can be even reached to that level when it is beyond the hands of investment banker to do anything.
सो इफ यू रियली विश टू बी इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकर एक्स आई डबल आर एन पी वी आई आर आर इनिशियल पब्लिक ऑफर फॉलो ऑन पब्लिक ऑफर एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर हिस्ट्री टूडे द मार्केट नीड्स and what would if i give you one last example to make situation more complicated which is you are a company who having five tenor of maturity is coming 2021 20 21 22 23 24 20 australian dollar 21 new zealand dollar 22 euro 23 gbp 24 us dollar amounts are different what would if with every maturity we have an embedded option call and put what would if few maturities are step up maturities and few are step down securities and what would if few are fixed and few are floating boss liquidity management strategies is one of the most important tool or a weapon investment bankers always have in their pocket but just like in mahabharata only five or four people lord krishna arjuna uh, dronacharya ji and bhishma pitama ji except four or five people no one was aware and karna no one was aware how to enter into chakravyu and how to exit from chakravyu in the whole mahabharata only five people were aware about as far as my knowledge is concerned or all about the chakravyu only five people similarly out of whole investment banking sphere hardly 1% of the investment bankers know end to end entry and end to end exist exit because liability management strategies are fundamentally very complex but need not to worry treasury consulting investment bank will definitely get this cover we are launching many videos about investment banking i hope you like this video you know my mobile number which is plus 9198992429789 my other number plus 9198184851555 please be note that treasury consulting is all most on the verge of launching ott platform over the top wherein we are launching the video courses and these video courses would be covering hell lot of stuff i'm telling you and all practical i once again challenge udemy edx google learnings and all that the video courses they offering our video course would be more better at least in terms of content that i'll show you with this we thank you very much and uh, have a great time more videos on the cards it's as you know that treasury consulting group is a singaporean multinational headquartered group and we are heading as a bank in london next year having said that there are lot of new things that are coming in the market because of our bank but we our bank would also include a desk which is investment banking desk and treasury consulting would be covering almost everything in invest, in investment banking and that too with and without technology in that regards we on an often note now onwards would be shooting many videos covering various aspects of investment banking in the public domain on youtube and our tiktok channel having said that these videos will not be comprehensive understanding of the investment banking i hope you understand that everything cannot be put in the public domain and especially when the world is thankless when people love watching our videos but they don't have 5 seconds to click the like button and put a good comment on that but still we keep moving having said that treasury consulting effective march starting designing of multiple trainings practical implementation of the various aspect of investment banking including the broker crossing networks which is shortly known as bcn 
Treasury Consulting would be the first company who would not only be listing all aspects of the investment banking as a training, practical or implementation rather. I assure you that by the time this year, which is December 2019 concludes, Treasury Consulting would have multiple videos covering most of the aspect of the investment banking. Some may in detail, some might not be in detail. I hope you understand everything cannot be made public. Plus, one important thing which Treasury Consulting Investment Bank would have in their in uh, once we go to launching in London next year is that we go to be linking investment banking with the trade finance desk. You know that Treasury Consulting is having extreme and exceptional understanding of the trade finance products like SBLC, BG, DPLC, subordinate bonds and whatnot, including the SWIFT architecture. We're going to be linking our investment banking desk with the trade finance desk and we're going to let you know about a lot of things which most of the people don't. With this, we definitely thank you very much. You know my mobile number which is plus nine one. Plus nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. You know I have my second number which is plus nine one nine eight one eight four eight five one double five. So I repeat nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight nine eight one eight four eight five one double five. You're welcome to visit our fixed income platform www dot fixed income dot global, and we assure you that. In next 30 days, which is by 30th or 31st March, whatever, more than more than any other in the any other, we are going to be launching a very exceptional investment banking academy, and that too via Treasury Consulting Investment Bank. Have a great time.